Hey guys, what's up? It's Robert. You know what this is. I got another loot crate to unbox for you. Um, this one is probably going to be a bit close in terms of uh, time to my last loot crate unboxing. I've been um, a bit behind on the schedule for them, so I'm trying to bump them up in my cycle a little bit, so this should be closer to the actual uh, date of the, the crates, so please excuse the redundancy in terms of uh, doing two of them back to back, as I think this will work out that way. Anyways, for those of you who uh, don't know, or if you need a reminder, if you're interested in picking up a loot crate at a discounted rate, go to lootcrate.com slash whisperloot, and that helps out my channel. So, let's get into it. I will be doing a giveaway of this one. Oh, last thing, uh, giveaways. There's a couple people who um, contacted me letting me know that they didn't yet receive their giveaway crate that they won. Um, I apologize for that. I did talk to my contact over there at Loot Crate, and I guess they just had a little bit of a mix-up in the shipping department, but all those will be fulfilled soon, so apologies for the mix-up and the delay for that. Okay, let's get into this. Um, the box is bigger this week. It's usually about this tall, but it's it's uh, taller. So it's pretty interesting. And on the bottom, there's a little uh, launch base. Not sure what that means yet. That's pretty awesome. The January 2014 crate is launch themed to boldly go where no one has gone before. I'll read the um, intro here and then I'll unbox everything and then we can look more detail at the other stuff afterwards. So it says, uh, so we decided to put one of our crates in near space. By now you've seen the video that documents this journey and hopefully shared it with your friends. I'll link to that. You put together a crate this month around the time around the theme of launch. Items that help you launch into the new year and gear around a space theme. Our Star Wars Galactic Phrase Book and Travel Guide makes an excellent source of entertaining info even if you're not an extreme Star Wars junkie. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's maybe Domo a Superman. You'll love Funko. You love Funko and we're happy to help build your collection or start your new addiction. Document your adventures with the 2014 Minecraft calendar and be sure to circle the 20th of the month so that you know when your epic loot begins shipping. Well, I'm excited now. Let's get into this. Okay. Here's our first thing. This is a Star Wars pocket model trading card game came back. So, got the Crown Assault package. So we get pocket models and game cards. Okay, I see. So you, uh, they're like cardboard. You punch them out and then build them. And then you play the game. I'll open this when we're done with the rest of the unboxing. Star Wars Galactic Phrase Book and Travel Guide. It's pretty awesome. It says beeps, bleats, boscas, and other common intergalactic verbiage. <laughs> I gotta check out what's in here. This is funny. So they have. Looks like different languages in the Star Wars universe with. Translation. So, if you wanted to say, let's see what language are we in right now? In Pachi. Okay. I want the collision insurance and medical coverage. You would say, Me dix, Goya, Doixi, Hi, 
Sounds like him actually. You are my kind of stump, my kind of scum. Yukule Rado Kaki Kong. Don't count on it, slime ball. Choose Greeny Dobot Slima. I think Anakin says that in uh, episode one. It's a really funny. So they talk. Not just about, um, not just like translations, but they talk about situations that you might use them, like bartering or buying a hovercraft or different things like that. These are funny. This will definitely come in handy for my intergalactic travels. This one for the next uh, departure. Maybe. Here we have Domo as Superman. things. I still have a Leonardo one sitting over there. So I'll add Domo to the collection. It's pretty awesome. He likes to keep dressed up like that. sticker feels like. A little Star Trek action. I'm not a huge Trekkie, but um, I do like Star Trek. I used to watch the uh, first generation of Star Trek um, when I would stay at my dad's, and I would always watch it when I was going to sleep. So the the sounds on the on the bridge, you know, like the the little light going back and forth and all of that stuff makes me feel really sleepy now. So, got that kind of relaxing association to it. NASA patch. It's funny, actually, I have one of these from a long time ago. I actually went to a uh, space camp when I was in like sixth grade or something like that. I remember that camp was fun, but I think it was kind of a <laughs> kind of a rip off for my parents, but I had a good time. It was very much a summer camp thing though. I know I made a new best friend and fell in love with this girl and was trying to stay in touch with everybody afterwards, but none of that ever happened. Cool stuff though. Loot Crate in Space, January 2014 launch. Nice. What the final thing? 
Amy's this Minecraft 2014 mini calendar. It's pretty awesome. Let's see if they have a preview on the back. So it looks like they have scenes. Um, in Minecraft and also just inspired by Minecraft. Let's see if I can focus this a bit better for you. Okay, that is it for the loot crate. Um, I'm going to keep this Minecraft calendar sealed because I think I'm going to give it to my little brother. He likes Minecraft a lot. And I think he'd be pretty stoked about that, so I'll keep that for him. Check out the uh, loot crate magazine thing. Little uh, exclusive here on Superman Cinema. This is a interview, I think. Oh, we can save that. Gotta leave something for uh, people who actually get the loot crate. We got an interview with the Mohawk dude from JPL when they launched the Mars rover. Visit High Altitude Science for kits and detailed instructions and flip over your loot crate for your very own loot crate launch pad. Everything you need to know to launch into space. Ever wondered how to send something into space? Whatever it may be, the sky is quite literally the limit. Here are the things you need, the steps you have to take, and how it works. So want the balloon. Latex balloons sized for the weight of the payload being sent up into space are filled with helium. Number two, the parachute. This attaches to the balloon to make sure the payload doesn't fall too fast once the latex pops and the descent into Earth's atmosphere begins. It takes about two hours for the balloon to pierce the edge of space and then break when the fall begins. The payload. This is the item you attach to both the big balloon and the parachute. The weight of this item can determine how big of a balloon you must use, how much helium it will take to fill it and carry it up into the sky. How and why does it work? The big latex balloon you read about up there, while it's filled with helium, and helium has less density than our Earth's atmosphere. The line that has the balloon, the parachute, and the payload attached to it is called the flight drain. And by having a specific measurement and containment of helium, it expands to become even bigger, sometimes up to five times its original size. When the balloon snaps, the parachute deploys, which slows down the payload. Before you know it, your parcel will be floating back down to Earth after an amazing journey to the edge of our atmosphere. Um, so I guess they're, uh, down here it says that they're giving like that, that this batch, they're giving out new ones each month. 
so you can show them off in photos and collect them. I think it's really awesome about their uh, community interaction. These are all photos that people sent in or hashtagged. This is the epic mega crate for this month. Looks like you get an Elgato Capture HD card or device, a Minecraft wall torch, Star Trek Enterprise cutaway model, and Star Wars plush plush ships and an electronic triple from Star Trek. Oh, that's cool. This is somebody uh somebody's artwork, Boba Fett. Crossword. Let's check out what it says about this uh Month's items, the Galactic Facebook. Imagine traveling light years to your newest spaceport. You land and then you realize you don't speak the language and they don't speak basic. <laughs> don't worry. With this handy phrase book, uh, it'll save you from accidentally starting an intergalactic civil war. When all you meant to say was hello, where can I get some blue milk? Man vinyl. We already read through that thing. Minecraft 2004 calendar. We all know that time is relative, but it's still important to track the Earth days while on your journey through the stars. Use this calendar after attaching it somehow to your wood slash stone slash gem wall, <laughs> or you can keep it in a chest somewhere. Dot dot dot. Buried. NASA meatball patch. Show your support for the space program with this official NASA patch, but please don't try to eat it because it's called the meatball. <laughs> Star Wars Pocket Model Trading Card Game. A trading card game for fans of all generations. Assemble your fleet and create a neat card deck filled with Star Wars characters and memorable events from the Star Wars universe. Battle in the Clone Wars and other legendary confrontations. Melting Rubik's Cube wall graphic. It's a collaboration between Rubik's and Walls 360. Looks like your cube went through one too many speed runs. This is why you have to keep the iconic geek memorability away from warp cores. And Star Trek Communicator badge. Slot this graphic onto your favorite red shirt and always stay in communication with the Enterprise and the rest of your crew. This. Okay, so I'm gonna break open this Star Wars ground assault pack and see if we can check out the models. full uh, tutorial on this game right now. As you can see, the rules are quite extensive. Holy cow. Okay. Let's set those aside for now. Check out what cards we got. We got 
vibration. Plus one defense if opposing unit is destroyed. Draw three cards and then discard down to your hand size. It's a combat card. Got another combat card. Chain Blast. If opposing unit is destroyed, dealing one damage to another opposing unit. Oh, if if opponent unit is opposing unit is destroyed, deal one damage to another opposing unit in your unit zone. Interesting. Cuts. Lay a card. Lay a Morgana. You may discard object cards when you play this card. For each objective card discarded, your unit gets plus three defense. I'm not sure what the values on the bottom are. They do have little um, indicators of the uh, rareness. They show how many there are, so it's like 49 out of to 20, which is uncommon. This one supposedly is rare. This is common. Defect, shot, plus one defense. Pursuit, fire, plus two attacks against star, double star, three star units. Jedi Reach. Plus two attack against ground units. Cool. Don't know if I'll ever get to use those for anything, but I have them. I'll get two little itty bitty dice in there. If I can get them out. Sure, now all of these pop out. Okay. This is the uh, Vengeance Imperial Class Star Destroyer.
Something like that. Put some of these two together. skills right now. Snap on Demi. Okay. These go on here. Little teeny pieces. Just fat bearing fingering these things or what? Okay, we go on there. Just a couple pieces left, I don't know exactly what goes where. This part would go below. There's a notch in the top, though. Guys, what the hell? This one isn't the same, but I see one that's similar. I think this is supposed to go through here. Somehow this goes on top. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
instructions. And I am too tired to try to figure it out. <laughs> so, anyways, um, so for the giveaway, if you're interested in winning a one month subscription to Loot Crate, um, let's see, what do I want from you guys? If you could send one object into space to orbit around the Earth, what would it be? So let me know what object you would send into space in the comments, and I will consider you for the raffle. Okay.